Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about JPA repository find all method. I'm going to show you a demo for find all API. First of all, what, why do we need Spring Data? Spring Data's main intention is to remove the boilerplate code that we used to have in our old programming methods. What is a boilerplate code? I'll show you an example. So before Spring, uh, we were using a lot of code like this to talk to the database, connect to the database and get the rows to in, in Java application. So, so much of code we used to write and for opening connection, write a SQL query and closing the connection. So this is boilerplate code. The main goal of Spring Data is to avoid such boilerplate code in our application, Java application. Okay. I have an entity class. I have written a very simple program to to explain the find all API in JP repository. So I have written an entity class called hotel and hotel table is already created. I'll show you after creating one row. And I have this is very important hotel repository extending from JP repository. JP repository is from the Spring framework and here I have to give my entity class and my identifier. Okay. So this is all I'm doing. I'm not writing any code for retrieving or deleting nothing because Spring Framework is going to generate code for me. When I extend from this JPA repository, Spring is doing everything for me. And in the service class, I'm going to auto wire my repository. Just now I showed you it is extending from JPA repository and I'm auto wiring and, and I'm start using it. So if you see find all, this is the API I'm talking about. So there are so many methods in repository supported because we are extending from JPA repository from Spring Framework. So, so many methods are the for all these method codes are generated in the Spring Framework by the Spring Framework. I'm going to explain to you this find all method. Okay. And in order to Spring Data feature to be enabled in a Spring application, you have to enable this. Uh, you have to add this annotation enable JPA repositories and for transaction management enable transaction management and for component component scan is like all the beans in your package will be scanned and, and it will be automatically registered as a bean in the spring frame uh, spring container so let me start this program so that we can understand so what exactly this program is going to do is it's going to create a row it's going to create a hotel in the hotel table in the in the hotel table then we are going to use find all api okay so repositories jp repositories find all api to fetch the value and you see here it is find all we are using here okay okay let me run this program so here, here i am creating a hotel so let the hotel be created okay so hotel is already created we are going to talk about this find all api in the jpa repository yes so this is what i'm talking talking about hotel repository we have created a simple repository extending from the jpa repository we have ne never written any code for the IMPL class i would say IMPL class and this hotel repository is a, is a proxy object injected by the spring framework and behind the scenes spring framework is generating code for all the methods for all these methods spring framework is generating the code so it's i would say it's a ready-made code prepared by the spring framework so that we can use and we are going to find all see here we have got a hotel object okay hotel object we have got okay and all the values for the hotel we have got and we want to print it so this is how find all api in repository works i have just explained to you hotel repository find all api Hope this video is useful and informative. Thank you and all the best.